Hi guys, uh, I'm Engineer HB again and welcome back to Derive. So in today's video, we're going to answer a series of questions about variation. So variation problem. So tagal lumabas ng variation problem na word. No? So it is uh, still under algebra. So this is a uh, five item questions and I will divide it into two videos para hindi mahaba. So let us proceed. So first question, the electrical resistance of a cable varies directly as its length and inversely as the square of its diameter. If a cable 600 meters long and 10 mm in diameter has a, has a resistance of 0.1 ohm, find the length of a cable 20 millimeters in diameter with a resistance of 0 0.15 ohms. So kuha lang tayo ng ink. So yan. So let us uh, assign letters from the given uh, situation. So let R, of course, the electrical resistance. Electrical resistance. So ano ano pa mga given? So of course, D for diameter. And and of course, we have this length pala. So, that was letter L. So, ayan. Kompleto na yung ating tatlong letters that will assign the resistance, the diameter, and the length. So, how about the uh, numerical uh, relationship? So, sabi, the electrical resistance of cable varies directly as its length and inversely as the square of its diameter, meaning the electrical resistance is equivalent to K for the constant because it is directly proportional to length and inversely proportional to the square of its diameter. So ang sabi sa una, if a cable 600 meters long, so sabi 600 meters long and 10 mm in diameter, so be careful in the unit guys, kailangan sa susunod ay meters and millimeters din to. Ang sabi, as a resistant of 0.1 ohm. So the question is, find the length of a cable if the diameter is 20 mm and the resistance daw is 0 0.15 ohms. Okay? So ibig sabihin, we need to get this K in order for us to get the length given these two uh, situation. So, pwede na natin lagay dito sa kabila. Uh, 0 0.15 is equal to K times L kasi nga siya yung unknown. And of course, this will become 20 squared. So, we need to get first this K from this. So, it will become K is equal to 0 0.1 times 10 squared divided by 600. So, that will become 100 times 0.1. Of course, that was 10 over 600 and that will become 1 over 60 meaning our constant here is 1 over 60 so we're going to acquire the length so that will become 0.15 is equal to 1 over 60 times l divided by 400 kasi 20 squared so the answer is l is equal to 400 tama ba? 400 times 0.15 all over 1 over 60. Or pwede na natin taas yung 60. Kasi 1 over 60, so mapupunta sa taas yung 60. So that will become 400 times 0.15 times 60. So that was 3,600 meters. So ganun kahaba. 3.6 kilometers no, in order for the resistance to become 0.15 ohms with a given diameter of 20 millimeter. Okay, so the answer is 3,600 meters. So second, the time required for an elevator to lift a weight varies direct, directly with the weight and the distance through which it is to be lifted and inversely as the power of the motors. 
If it takes 20 seconds for a 5 HP motor to leap 220 newtons through 12 meters, what size of motor is required to, to is required to uh, 5,340 newtons in 30 seconds through 12 meters? Siguro ano to, what size of motor is required to lift? Siguro. 5,340 newtons in 30 seconds through 12 meters. So, mag-assign tayo uli ng mga letters para hindi tayo malito mamaya. So, meron tayong binigay dito na time. So, ibig sabihin, let T be the time required for an elevator to lift a weight. So, meron na banggit na weight. So, let us take a uh, as a capital W for the weight. Bar is directly with the weight. The time required for an elevator to lift weight by is directly, directly with the weight and the distance through which it is lifted. So distance then. So pwede natin sabihin small d. Distance. And of course, last is may nabanggit na power of the motor. So we can take this as capital P for the power. Okay, so uh, we already completed uh, giving assigned letters to each parameter. So, punta na tayo sa relationships nila. So, ang sabi, the time required for an elevator to lift a weight varies directly with the weight, varies directly with the weight, and the distance through which it is to be lifted. So, that was cap, uh, the small d. And inversely as the power of the motors, meaning this will become so this will become T is equal to K as constants of proportionality times W times D all over the power. So that will be our uh, basis of the relationship. Okay, so sabe if it uh, if it takes 20 seconds for a 5 HP motor. To lift 220 newtons through 12 meters. Sabi. So, what size of motor naman, dito tayo sa taas, is required to lift 5,340 newtons in 30 seconds through 12 meters. So, sabi, ang time niya is 30 seconds. So, lagay natin yung K dito. In order to lift 5,340 newtons through 12 meters. So, ang tinatanong naman dito ay power. So, in order to get the amount of this power, we should uh, get the constants of proportionality first. And that is the letter K. At makukuha natin yung letter K na yan dito sa equation na to. So, K is equal to K is equal to 20 times 5 divided by 220 times 12. So that is 100 over 220 times 12. So that was 5 over 132. So and be careful dito guys. Kailangan lagi magkakapareho ang units. So this is seconds. Seconds are force in Newton or weight. So our uh, distance is meters. So expect that this letter P or power should be in horsepower of unit. So that will become 30 is equal to 5 over 132 times 5,340 times 12 is equal to P. So using your calculator, guys, so letter P is equal to uh, 5 over 132 times 5, 3, 40, times 12, divide 30. So the answer is 80.91 horsepower. Okay, so tapos na tayo sa second question. Proceed tayo sa third question. For a given mass, the kinetic energy of a rotating wheel varies jointly as the square of its radius and the square of its, uh, and the square of its radius and the square and the square of its angular velocity. But may nadadobli dito. Square of its radius. Buray natin ito. And the 
Laging may pasobra, no? Pati sa questions. So sabi ulit, for a given mass, the kinetic energy of a rotating wheel varies jointly as the square of its radius and the square of its angular velocity. The kinetic energy of a wheel with a radius 1.2 meters and rotating at a rate of 1 revolutions per second is 375 newton meter. Find the kinetic energy of a wheel of the same mass whose radius 1.5 meter and which rotates 3 revolutions per second. Okay, so as usual, mag-assign muna tayo ng mga letters that will represent each parameters. So sabi, for a given mass, so let uh, small m be the mass. So we have this kinetic energy. So let Ke represents the kinetic energy. And uh, rotating wheel bars jointly is the square of its radius. So let R, atong radius, be the radius. And let uh, this omega sign will be your angular velocity. So ayun, tapos na tayo mag-assign ng mga letter that will represent the parameters. So proceed tayo sa relationship. Sabi the kinetic energy, the kinetic energy of a rotating will vary jointly as the square of the radius and the square of angular velocity. So that will become Ke is equal to K, which is the constant of proportionality. Multiply the square of the radius and square of the angular velocity. The kinetic energy of a wheel with a radius of 1.2 meters at the rate of 1 revolutions per second is 375 newton meter. So sabi ang kinetic energy mo raw dito is 375 newton meter. Again, be careful sa unit guys. Kailangan parehas dito yan sa susunod na relationship. And R squared, ang sabi 1.2 meters. Ayan. So, ang angular velocity is 1 revolutions per second. So, our letter K here is 375 divided by 1.2 squared divided by 1 squared. And it should be 260.4167. At ang sabi, find the kinetic energy. Of a wheel of the same mass whose radius is 1.5 meters and which rotates 3 revolutions per second. So, tingnan natin kung pare paras ng unit. So, ang radius here is meters. Meters din dito. Ang angular velocity is RPS and RPS here. So, expect that the kinetic energy should be in newton meter also of unit. So, Solve na natin si Ke. So that will become Ke is equal to Kr squared. Omega, uh, omega squared is equal to 260.4167 multiplied by 1.5 squared and multiplied by 3 squared. So the answer is 260.4167 times 1.5 squared times 3 squared. So the answer is 5,000. And 273.44 newton meter. So imagine this kind of energy from 375 naging 5,000. Dahil lamang bumilis ng times 3 yung angular velocity niya from 1 to 3. At lumaki yung radius from 1.2 to 1.5. Okay, so enough for this first video. As I said earlier, I will divide the 5 items into two videos para di masyadong mahaba. So thank you for listening guys and see you on the next video. Bye-bye.